Yo, what's good YouTube, it's Christian. I'm back again with another reaction video. And we're back on Disturbed Reality shit, you feel me? He probably has one of the best videos out right now with this kind of stuff. You guys have been requesting this one uh, for a while now. Well, not a while, but you know what I mean. The diving uh, face split guy. So, from the thumbnail, it looks like a guy diving off a cliff, right? And it says the diving face split guy. So, I'm assuming he dove and his face just split, right? Or am I tripping? I don't know, but we're here to find out. Appreciate every single one of you guys for supporting me. We're going to keep running up these videos, trust me. So, comment down below whatever videos you guys want me to react to next, and I'll do them. If I don't do the ones that you guys comment, just follow me on Instagram at Christian underscore Lamberton, and just DM me on there once to do, and I'm most likely to see that more than the comments. But without further ado, let's just get it popping. This video is also over like a year old, by the way. Welcome back to Disturbed Reality. I'm glad to the be back. The topic of real life gore is something that fascinates many of us, mainly down to our morbid curiosity, though the morality of being able to freely view such content is in question. In fact, one of the main criticisms for channels such as my own, Plagued Moths and Cold Ravens, is that we're using death for some cheap likes and views, and the morality of such content creators is pulled into question. That topic in itself is worth a video in the future, as I personally do not see it that way. But my question is, does gore content have any other value than cheap frills and pure shock value? Maybe controversial. What is that? I would say yes. One lunatic wise. Lessons can be learned from some of the graphic content available online. I've personally found some sort of value in such content. For example, car crash videos and pictures. It's nothing to brag about, but in the past I've had a habit of driving without a seatbelt and even speeding. However, when I view such content such as Porsche Girl, the death of Nikki Katsouris, it definitely resonates with me to the point where I will take extra due diligence on the roads while driving and not take any unnecessary risks that will put myself at risk or others on the roads. What, did, There's no what is he talking about right now? <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? In my mind, that shock value and graphic content this can have its effect on people. I mean, look at cigarette packets in Europe. The cartons all have images of smoking-related health issues, some of which are quite graphic to what the, the potential new smokers. This is not me endorsing gore content, but the topic of the morality of such content isn't as cut and dry as some people make out. Ultimately, it's all down to the individual and how they process such content. I would even argue that certain murder videos, gore videos, or just abuse videos can go as far as exposing abuses of power in the world, whether that be war crimes, police brutality, and similar cases. So again, I don't find this topic to be as cut and dry as some people make out. But again, I think that's another video for another day. But anyway, what is the topic of today's video? Well, it's about a diving face split guy. Essentially, it's one of the OG shock videos from back in the day. And you know, again, this could be one of those videos which acts as a deterrent from people doing similar stupid things. But you know, I'm sure many of you guys have seen this video. I recall watching this- I have never seen this video, and I have never heard of this video. I've never heard anyone talk about this video besides for you guys in the comments. And some people have said that it was the first video they've watched. So I'm actually interested in like, what the fuck goes on? Cause how, this shit looks old, but then again, they all look old. So I don't know how old it really is. Video back in, I think it was 2009, 2010. Ah. Basically my last year in school, and at the time, this video Damn. essentially went viral. That was your last school year of school? How old is it? How old is he? He doesn't sound old, bro. He sounds like he's my age. Damn, I'm 23, dog. Similar to Three Guys, One Hammer, Two Girls, One Cup. It was in that vein. This was being shared around a lot in the playground back in the days, put it that way. But let's talk about the actual video. Now, the video itself was actually released to the internet in July 2009. Originally, it was uploaded to Turkish and Arabic sites, and for the first month or two, it didn't really get any traction, but that soon changed when the video found its way to US and Western websites. In around September 2009, the video then went viral. The video was recorded in the summer of 2009 Why did in Beirut, Lebanon. 
Why why did his voice just switch like that, bro? It's this guy's funny to me. I actually really fuck with this guy. He does a lot of like random shit that catches me off guard. The video depicts a group of teenagers having fun on a hot summer's day. The group appeared to be taking it in turns to jump in the sea from a high promenade. I would estimate that the drop is at least 20 foot high. The first teenager in the video successfully makes the jump, and he dives into the sea unharmed. The second teenager in the video is then ready to make his jump. He stands on top of the promenade, steadies himself for a second, he then takes a run up before the jump, and as he jumps, he kind of loses footing and basically slips. And immediately the jumper realises that he's in deep trouble. In midair you can hear him panicking. He realises that he's not made the necessary clearance to miss the walkway below. He falls into the sea, but his face hits the fishing walkway below. And immediately the group he was with let out piercing screams. As the video plays forwards, the jumper's body is laying unconscious in the water. Damn. And the water around his head immediately begins to turn red from the impact of the blow. All while this is happening, the group of teenagers he was with are crying and screaming because of what they are witnessing. The video then jumps forwards, showing the rescue boat trying to save the jumper. During this portion of the video, the sea is completely blood red. The video then skips forwards again, showing the boy in hospital, and at this point we can see the true extent of his injuries, and they are absolutely horrific. Essentially what happened to the boy his face was completely split vertically from the top of his forehead to the bottom of his chin. That's to disgusting. It looked like something out of Resident Evil. And what makes it worse, he was alive throughout this and fully conscious. During the hospital portion of the video, you can actually see the doctor hold the boy's face together. And okay, this is actually a good job because I was wondering what the fuck he meant by his face split. Like, was it like his skin? Like, it, he said it got cut like this, right? So was his face? Was his skin just off? Was his face like disconnected? I don't know, but right here it looks like his face is disconnected. That's kind of fucked. This is why before you do something, you have to make sure it's safe, bro. Just because someone else did it doesn't mean you're gonna be like able to do it like as safely. You feel me? That it look. I'm not gonna lie to you. That shit looked like a far ass jump when the first guy did it. He was like he jumped full power and he jumped full length. And the second guy was just like I don't know how you slip, bro. Unless your feet are already wet. But that's crazy. Various comments on Reddit and whatnot. I've seen a lot of people critique the doctor for doing this. Apparently the reason he was doing it was to assist the boy's breathing because his face was completely split in two. His nose was destroyed as was his mouth. And like I said earlier, all throughout all of this, he was fully conscious. In the video, you can actually see the boy's eyes darting around in panic, shock and pain. Throughout the video, he doesn't make much noise, only breathing noises. I'm presuming this is because his face was completely destroyed and he was basically unable to make any noise. When the doctor wasn't holding his face together, that's when you could fully see the full extent of the injuries. And yeah, it's extremely graphic. Throughout this video, um, the doctors obviously were speaking in Arabic and according to some translations, one of the doctors in the video repeatedly said where do I start? Where do I start? Where do I start? Obviously because the injuries were so severe and even an experienced doctor, I very much doubt they'll see things like that every day. So what did his face hit? His face hit the concrete? Like he dove face first into the concrete? Or did he hit a rock? And also high, how, that shit would look pretty high. So I don't know, bro. There, there's a lot of things as like, what the fuck like actually happened? So even the doctors seem shocked and surprised by this sort of injury. Now from the research that I've done online, not too much information is available in regards to the boy and who he was, but what I did find out was that he died two days after the accident. Damn. Apparently the cause of death was due to a spinal fracture and severe internal bleeding in the brain. He Apparently, fucked his shit the accident, up, bro. The city of Beirut actually put fencing around the area where the boy jumped. Not only just because of this incident, but other similar incidents in the area as well. However, after a period of time, the fencing that was installed was actually broken by members of the public so people could continue jumping. You know what they say, right? Those who don't learn from history yep. are to repeat it. Yep. I mean, after seeing something like that. You know how lucky the first guy probably was 
after he seen this kid do it, he was probably sitting there like, what the fuck? After he seen everything that happened to this kid, he was probably sitting there thinking about his whole life like, damn, that could have been me. He, like, he probably thought he was so blessed. And, and then they fucking put up a fence and people, the kids still take it down to do it. Jesus Christ. Why would you want to take that risk? I mean, right, right. It's beyond me. It really is. But yeah, this is definitely one of the OG shock videos from back in the day and one of the more brutal accident videos available online. Now for me personally, this video didn't really affect me much. Even when I watched it back in the day in school, really it's just a reminder not to take any dumb, unnecessary risks with our Speaking lives. Speaking facts. We're not invincible, things can go wrong. Why put yourself in such a position? Where this is why I'd like, okay, don't get me wrong, I like doing shit i like doing uh, things that will give me an adrenaline rush i like cliff i like cliff jumping i like doing like extreme sports and shit like that but i do it like in a safe manner you know what i mean and if i'm not doing shit like that all i'm doing is sitting at home making videos or playing video games this is literally all i do if, there, if there's people out here that like just do this shit 24 7 that that don't like do it in a safe manner shit like this is gonna happen and it sucks too because it's like like when you're doing this stuff it's fun you know but then also shit like this could happen so it's it's also sucks like this could happen right that takes me back to the start of this video are some gore videos actually somewhat useful or in some ways maybe beneficial to people you know as reminders that again we're not invincible if we take these certain risks we put ourselves in positions where things like this can happen again i look at the porsche girl case i see the images i've had a habit of driving without a seat belt speeding at times but when i see things like that it kind of sticks in my mind and makes me take the necessary precautions on the road to ensure my safety and other people's as well. I do believe lessons can be learned from these yeah. type of videos, but I want your opinion on the topic of gore and the morality of being able to view such content. Where do you stand on this matter? I would like to hear your opinion. If he's talking to me, if I'm a viewer right now and I'm answering that question, for me, gore is like, it's just like reality. You feel me? Like you can't hide reality. If you're trying to avoid seeing all this shit, then that just sucks because sooner down the line, you might be able to see it or you might see it somewhere or another and it's like reality. You can't, like he said, we're not invincible, bro. People, people might think they're invincible. People might think that like stuff can't happen to them, but like you can literally get hurt in the stupidest ways by doing nothing real shit you might think you're like safe at your job doing some shit and next thing you know some crazy shit happens and your fucking your arms are hanging over there and your body's hanging over there you know so like he said it's it's literally like i don't know it, it could be like a learning thing as well like he did say and gore doesn't really bother me as much as it does other people that's just how i grew up like my mom likes that shit my stepdad likes that shit so i don't know it's just the way that i grew up that i it never really bothered me so i don't know and my friends it doesn't bother them either so yeah but anyways shots to disturb reality i'm gonna link the original video down below if you guys want to go check it out for yourselves and yeah comment down below what you guys want me to react to next subscribe for new like this video if you enjoyed and i'm out sorry girl, i got a ghost yeah, you know this ain't the old me Try to keep it on the